everybody. Welcome back to Off the Trail. Not sure if you guys are as tired of this Midwestern heat as I am at this point, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'm pretty much done with it. Um, anyhow, today we're going to uh, go ahead and pick some clover, flowers, and we'll demonstrate how we process those down here in a little bit. Stay tuned. You know, one of the nice things about clover is that it grows so dense that you're likely to find a ton of it wherever you go. Which is good. Because you're going to need a lot of it to do anything useful. Being a completely edible plant, the uses for clover flower are only limited by your imagination. Today we're going to process this down into flour, that's F-L-O-U-R, so that we can use it in some of our different bannock recipes. And there you have it. This basket full that we've collected today is going to be the total amount we're going to use for this entire project. Stay tuned. Okay, there's the uh, dehydrator I'm going to use. Um, I don't fill it up. I just stack all the empty trays, and I'm only going to use the top tray. People have asked me in the past where I got that blue mat. Um, basically, it's just a uh, surplus filter screen that I had. Um, it's, so I just cut it to size. That's all that is. Basically, it makes it so that no finer particles can slip through into the bottom of the dehydrator and it allows air to flow through as well. So, we're going to put the flowers on that and go ahead and proceed from there. Here you can see all the clover flower dried in the dehydrator. You could do this outside on screens, but I just wanted to speed up the process a little bit. And I did decide to use two levels instead of just one level. There you have it. Now we're going to take it to the kitchen here and go ahead and get ready to process this down into flour for Bannock. Here's the results of the first grind. I'm going to grind this down again in a coffee grinder because I like a little finer flour in my bannock recipes.
And here you have it, as promised, the final product. Feel free to use it in any recipe that you see fit. I'm going to go ahead and process it in the bannock, as I've already stated earlier, and enjoy it all winter long. And while I don't condone smoking for the younger crowd, I did save a little bit of leftover clover flour to dry for smoking purposes. You can look up other videos on YouTube to see exactly how that is done. And that's it for now.